Hello there, Scorpio. Welcome. So let's see who's dreaming about you. What do they have to say? December 2022. Let's see what's going on for you. Ooh, karma review. Judgment. They're coming back around. Sun, oh, the star card. Aquarius energy. Universal alignment. We have the divine masculine. And we have justice, soul contract. They feel very strong that this is something that is supposed to be. And they're coming in after you. They want to come back in if you're not ready for them. You know, I mean, so totally up to you. But they are coming back in very strongly here. Judgment card. Wanting another chance here. No opportunity. You have the emperor here, Aries energy. You have the star, Aquarius energy. Justice, Libra energy. Okay, and then we have the eight of wands. Oh, yeah, energy surge. Communication. They're coming. Get ready. Here they come. Okay, let's see. Why do we have the judgment card here for Scorpio? Why is the judgment card here? We have here, oh yeah, twin flames. They feel this connection very strongly. They never felt anything like this before. This person is really intense. I feel someone's energy that is really te uh, determined here. They're in their emperor power here. Whether they're Aries or not, or even feminine or, or masculine, they are <laughs> they are taking over the masculine energy no matter what here. Okay, so now we have the star. Metamorphous. Yeah, they want to change this. They want to transform this. They're ready. They are ready. Ooh, I feel someone chomping at the bit here. Okay, then we have the Emperor. Wants a fresh start. They do, they do. Return, see? They see this as a soul contract. They see that this is supposed to be. And you and no one could tell them any different. And we have received. They received the message. Spirit has t spoken and they received it. And they're not going to back down. You can expect this return. Okay, so now... Let's see. What are their intentions? You want to know what their intentions are. Oh, I want to go backwards. I do not look at the cards when I'm showing. I really have to start trying to do that. Chariot, charging ahead. That That's what the energy feels like. Cancer energy. They feel like they're moving here quickly. They're charging ahead. Full steam ahead. Okay, here's a tower. It might surprise you with the way they come in. Because they're coming in really quick. So tower... Um, Aries, Scorpio energy, divine intervention. This is their energy just charging ahead. Like, they're going to just come in. They might just show up. Okay, um, King of Wands with a lot of passion and desire here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but it could be any sign. They're just coming in with this energy of the King of Wands because they have a lot of love for you. Look at the big open heart. King of Wands. And the Knight of Swords. Look at this. This is decisive action. Once they decide, there's no stopping. This is all charging ahead. This is all passion and desire and really quick movement. Watch out. Here they come. Okay, we have here the star, the starfish, a little suction cup. They're going to stick to you, too. They're not letting go. You are their star. Okay, Knight of Swords. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Okay, and then we have here Queen of Cups. So this is intuition and sensitive. This is the way they see you. They see you as very loving and int intuitive and very sensitive. Now let's clarify. Why do we have the chariot here for Scorpio? Why is the chariot here? Lessons. Okay, lessons have been learned. They're learning more. They're opening the book. They're trying to find out more. They're really into this. Okay, what about the tower? Oh, yeah. Big dreams. This would be like the Ten of Cups. This person is going to come to you and tell you, open their heart and tell you how much they love you, how much they adore you, how much they desire you. They're coming in quick and strong. Okay, get ready. Here they come. All right, and we have new direction. Yeah, they might have been going in a, new di a di different direction, and now they changed their direction. This is like the Eight of Cups, walking away from something that no longer serves you to something much better. Okay, what about the Knight of Swords? Pause. There might be a little pause. They might get sidetracked or someone might try to stop them, but they will be coming. If they get stopped for a minute, it's not going to be long. It's going to be a pause. Okay, so 
So we have cycles, something ending, something new begin. This is like the world card. Ending for new beginnings. Okay. Now, what can you expect? Knight of Pentacles. Steady progress. Okay, so they will come and charge in ahead. Something might stop them for a second. Someone might not want them to come to you. But they're they're not going to... They might get a little sidetracked, a little detour, but they're coming. They'll get right back on track as soon as they can. To go there and make sure that nothing interrupts this. This Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, they might even have to fly to you. But they're going to come. This is travel. No matter how they have to come, by boat, by plane, by train, they're coming. Knight of Pentacles. Let's see. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You can expect them to show up somehow. Traveling. Might be a distance, then they're going to come. Okay, and then we have the Six of Swords. This is also movement. You have all the movement cards. Wow. So this is change in location. Um, tranquility ahead. This is moving away from rough times to something much better. They might relocate to come to you. Okay, we have the two wands. It's the planning and decisions. They are planning. They're plotting. They're deciding. They're, they're mapping everything out. Okay. Then we have hermit. Soul searching. They went deep. And they're still, they're still searching. They're still trying to find out stuff. Ten of cups. Yeah. Commitment and joy. You are the ten of cups. They're coming. They're coming to get you. Okay, now let's see. The knight of pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay, see now something's trying to stop them, but they're 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 still gonna push through. But yeah, we had a pause here and we have stuck here. Every time they make this movement to do something, they get okay. So they might get stuck a little bit, but they're coming. <laughs> okay, what about this Six of Swords? We have the Tribe. Okay, the Tribe might be interfering. That could be family. Or it could be that, you know, there's you're forming a new tribe. New connections. What about this two of wands? Unawakened. Well, they might have been unawakened. They're awakened now. And what about the hermit? Yeah. This is recognition. They're recognizing this commitment. They're recognizing this connection. They're recognizing who you are to each other. And that's why they're not going to stop um, pursuing this. And they're balancing the scales. This is um, justice, labor energy. They want to balance things out here. They're going to fix things. They're, de they're determined. I, this energy feels so determined to me. Okay, let's see. Let's see what else we have for you. What else do we have here for Scorpio? What else? We have... Obsessions. Be careful. There are strong desires and attachments. This person is obsessed about coming towards you. They really are. Because you know they've been people have been trying to block them. That's why they're just determined to do this. And we have crossroads. They're at a crossroads, but they're coming. <laughs> I keep on telling you, they're coming. <laughs> and then it almost feels like they're saying that. It's like, don't worry, I'm still coming. They're healing. They might have to heal things on their way. Or, you know, people are not too happy about what they're doing or something like that. Might be other people interested in them. But they're still, they know what they want. Okay, let's see what else we have. Book. Gain more knowledge. Use your um, intuition to see the answer. See, they have the book here. They have been doing that. They, they've been learning. They've been studying. They've been looking up things that they didn't understand before. Isolation and being alone and trying to work on things. You are the key. They know the key. They hold the key. You hold the key. You guys have, you have the key to each other's thoughts. It's like, and the control. So this is, they're taking control. They're taking control of their life and they're coming forward. Okay, so now let's see what messages they want to get to you. What messages do we have? What messages do we have for Scorpio? Now there's going to be some uh, for you, some that aren't because this is a general reading. So let's see here. We have, how could you still love me after all I've done? Now, they want to come and straighten this out now. They feel very bad. Okay, and then we have, I want to be authentic. I no longer am afraid. They're determined. Okay, one more. And then we have, 
something is still missing for me and I'm trying to figure out what that is okay and then we have I looked you up online to see who you been of who you been okay what you been up to who <laughs> that was a a slip but maybe not maybe they're wondering who you been with but they want to know what you've been up to okay what else do we have here for you guys what else oops okay this one is I'm trying to take responsibility for my actions right now please know this they're they're making sure that they they make everything clear and and um they straighten out everything before they come towards you so that's they're taking care of their what they have to do here that's why they're getting a little stuck and says you still hold a piece of my heart and it's really hard for me to open up and then we have I care too much about what others think right now see they're they're worrying about hurting others but they're gonna take care of things they're gonna fix things they're just trying to do it in a very um, gentle way is what I say they're trying to be real gentle with others and not hurt others because of what they want what they desire because what they desire is important too and they're realizing that before i think they weren't keep they were um trying to make others happy but they weren't happy but they're happy with you so they're coming okay let's see so what do we have here for let's do the king of i don't know anybody else right we do have the king of wands what's going on with the king of wands Marry, unknown, healing. Okay, so something's unknown and they have to heal something in order and they want to get married, I would say. But there's something unknown here. Or maybe other people don't know that they're planning this. And again, take it if it resonates, leave if it doesn't. What about this um, Knight of Swords? We have closure lying about the past okay so someone wants to have closure about lying about the past lying in the past they want to bring this to an end okay now what about this knight of pentacles confused confess together okay they they were confused now they're confessing that they want to be together Okay, now let's see what signs we have for you guys. What are the signs? Oh, for Scorpio. Let's see. What signs do we have here for Scorpio? Okay, so we have Taurus. Gemini. Virgo. Gemini. Hmm. Aquarius and Cancer. So these are, this could be placed. Okay, placement in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. So what we have here is Taurus, Gemini, Virgo, Gemini, Aquarius, and Cancer. Okay, now for the letters. We'll do eleven letters for initials, first name, last name. If you get both the first and last name, and someone has a middle name, and you know the middle name, get that initial also. All the better. Past, present, future, also your own initials. Let's see what we have. M. I. O. U. D. D. S K oops G Z O Okay So the letters we have for you today are M I O U D D S K G Z O Now let's see what names want to come up for you guys What names do we have for Scorpio? Let's see Okay, we have, oh, I 
think I someone wrote me how to say this. Now I don't remember how to say it. I missed my. No, I did. I. Did I have it written here somewhere? Oh sure, I had this somewhere. D. Dijra. D H I R A J. I'm sorry, I wrote it down somewhere, and now I don't know where I put it. And then we have um. Antonio Patricia P A T R I Z I A and Antonio spell F um sorry V O N T O N I O Zane Brandon Jody Dini D D I N I Furhad Furhad, Furhad, F-U-R-H-A-A-D, and Al, Nahasha, Nashana, N-A-S-H-O-N-A, and Aman, A-M-A-N, wow, okay, that's 11, okay, great. All right, guys, now remember these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I love to read your comments. It really helps my channel. And if it does not resonate, check out your other placements. Go to your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. And if it does resonate, you still check out your other placements, and you'll get a more in-depth reading. Put them all together, and you'll get even more information. You'll be surprised how much information you'll get. Okay, guys, I love you so much, and I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.